Casinos across the state. Florida already has gambling through the Seminole Tribe and at racetracks, but now a change could be on its way. Investigative reporter Christopher Heath is in Tallahassee where the fight over casinos taking center stage tonight. Over the last decade, Florida lawmakers have taken up dozens of bills dealing with gambling in the state. Now, Florida voters could have the final say over any serious expansion of gambling, completely cutting out lawmakers here at the Capitol. On Wednesday morning, the Central Florida based No Casinos announced it had reached its goal of gathering enough signatures for a constitutional amendment. The amendment, which will appear on the November ballot, would prevent state lawmakers from legalizing casino gambling unless voters approve it first cutting out the legislature. The group pushing the amendment issued a statement saying in part, over 1.1 million Floridians have gone on the record wanting Florida voters, not Tallahassee politicians, to decide whether to legalize casino gambling. The move drawing mixed reaction from lawmakers who, on recent issues, have bristled at having voters limit their authority. However the voters decide, I think, is in the best interest, interest of the state as a whole. Um, I would have preferred that it gone through the legislature, uh, but if it's the will of the voters to have this vote and to see either happen or not happen, then I'm not going to stand in the way. The amendment also underscores the power of attractions like Disney that have long opposed casinos and the expansion of gambling in Florida, something Central Florida lawmakers are keenly aware of. That we need to be sure that we're maintaining the family friendly environment that we have that attracts uh, visitors from all over the world. Keep in mind, an amendment must pass in Florida with at least 60% of the vote. But if this amendment does pass in November with 60% of the vote, all future changes to gambling, expansions of gambling, will have to go before Florida voters. Reporting from Tallahassee, Christopher Heath, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.